But before we jump into the demo, I want to give you guys a little bit of background, you know, set up this, this demo review a bit for you. So this is going to be a demo review of the RGL Season 3 Grand Finals. I'm reviewing an STV so I can see all of the point of views. I can see the health and Ubers, you know, all that good stuff. I can slow it down, fly around, get all the perspectives that I need. But, um, you know, where it all started, of course, was right here on RGL. So we're going to check out the RGL page. This is against Ascent. We faced Ascent in week one on clear cut. We won four to two, a nice solid performance from us to kick off the season. We came back around and faced them later on Gully Wash. We won that one five three. I believe this was one of our first, if not the first match where Jay joined the team. And he stepped up big time in this match. He was a huge factor, but we took that as well, three to five. People, though, were still doubting us. We were still um, being ranked second in the power rankings, if you can really believe that. The fools, the fools. But uh, nonetheless, we, uh, we push on. Playoffs comes around. We face Ascent in the upper bracket final. This was a bit of an unconventional match on Villa, Bagel, and Clear Cut once again. So... At this point, we had played Ascent in many scrims. We knew what maps each team sort of, you know, favored, etc. Um, this ended up going to all of the three new maps because basically we ended up banning out... Um, let's see, we banned Metalworks. So Metalworks was a map that we haven't been super confident on, but more so we knew it was a good map for them. Sunshine was a great map for us. Um... They banned it in the upper bracket final. Then we hit them with the wild card, Villa. They go for another wild card, Bagel. Then we banned Process, which was a map that was a bit weaker for us. Um, they banned Snakewater, which is what we knew was one of their weaker maps. We banned Gullywash just because we got to. We kind of forced them onto, um, onto Clear Cut. Because at this point, we were like, you know what? Let's just make this a fucking crazy match. So anyways, the upper bracket final went to Villa, Bagel, and Clear Cut. But we destroyed them on Villa. We like literally 5-0'd them in like 15 minutes or something. We absolutely destroyed them. Bagel was really close. And then it never got to Clear Cut. So that's even more information for the map picking and banning. So given that in the grand final... Um, each team has two bands before the first pick, and they now know that Villa is a map that they're going to get absolutely rolled on. Um, they had to ban Villa immediately. So they first turn banned Villa, and we banned Bagel because our last match on it was really close and the map felt a bit chaotic, so we got rid of Bagel. They insta-ban Villa, and then they banned Snakewater. Previously, they had banned Sunshine which is one of our favorite maps, but now they were trying to cover their weaknesses a bit more instead of um, uh, instead of trying to get rid of our strengths, they were trying to cover their weaknesses. So they banned out their weak maps, but left in our strong maps. But we got to cover out, um, you know, two of the maps that we felt were the biggest like risk. And then we ended up getting Sunshine but they end up getting Metalworks, which was our ban previously. So both teams end up this time first picking their first ban in the last um, series. And then uh, when, you know, picking onwards after the first four bans, everything else basically gets played. It just comes down to the order. Sunshine, Metalworks, Gully Wash, Viaduct um, were the maps. So that's how it plays out. So this map definitely more... Our favor, Metalworks, more their favor. Um, the reason that Metalworks was a map that we didn't really want to play too much, if we could avoid it, was it's a stronger soldier map, and I think Ascent was more of a soldier-centric team with Laz and stuff. Um, they they have got some tricky bombs, so we wanted to avoid it, but we end up on Metalworks anyway, so it is what it is. We'll face it head on. Um, so yeah. 
because we won the upper bracket final, also we have a one map advantage. So that means in the best of five, we only need to win two maps. They need to win three. So here we go. We're starting round one of the grand final. Um, I guess I'll also give some background here. So let me just slow this way down. So we had been practicing a strat where we do like a, a special um, spam like rollout. So Jay does a fast rollout and Patty also does a fast rollout. What Jay is trying to do is he's trying to get in position to put spam into their choke. And Patty's trying to do a fast rollout to land on them in choke while Habib and Jay are both spamming in there. We practice this a lot in our scrims, but Ascent, they must have, you know, researched it. We streamed a lot of those scrims, so they were able to, to know that we were going to do this. So first round, they actually roll out Valley. They completely avoid our spam strat, and they get forced into Valley. This is one of the downsides of streaming your scrims, is that you can get counter stratted like this. But, their positioning isn't that great. Even though they avoid the spam, is it worth it for what's, you know, gonna play out here on the mid? They get stuck behind Tetris, and we just sort of stand our ground, focus firing, killing everyone who overextends. And at this point, we've killed their medic, we've killed everyone else except the scouts, so we just stabilize. We back up, play heals, and we clean them out. So, a solid mid from us, but they've already shown that they've got some tricks up their sleeve, potentially. Um, but we're going to adapt as quickly as we can. We're moving forward. We just wipe them on mid. They have no scouts, so the chances of them contesting this are basically zero. Um, they're going to set up on last. Their team is also... Um, a team that builds uber really really hard i'm actually surprised that right now they have a heavy and an ng because usually we expect them to just be uh boston basher building full time um because they tend to get uber really quickly if we waste too much time pushing but they actually have that heavy there possibly a counter strat for habib who often bombs in kind of far so but ah uh, yeah this was this was rough because i saw that there was no trap on this doorway so I called for us to walk it in, and by the time I saw the trap right here, it was too late. He dead and killed Habib. So that kind of ruins the whole Uber. Uh, we lost Habib on that push because we were trying to milk it. I called it, and then Ski's popped, but Habib was already dead. Just trying to walk that in. So Ski's going to die. We're going to lose uh, three people. Kind of a disastrous push because we tried to milk a bit too hard and didn't have all the information that we needed. But they're being a bit slow to push out. We know they're going to be on full ad here. So what we're trying to do now is just slow them down. Eric dies, so at this point, it's not really worth it for me to stay in. I barely survived with 4 HP. Got out just at the right time. But what we're going to be doing now is trying to set up to force them on the way into mid. Um, I think Jay spots them coming valley here. So we're going to start focusing our spam over there into valley. First soldier comes through. Their med loves to delay really far, so sometimes we will focus the first person in. But we lose Patty for the force. It's, it's perfectly fine for us. We're going to have 40 add. We give up mid, but they're not going to probably have enough to push off of. They might. So we're always cautious. We're always keeping track, um, you know, of the enemy team to see... Um, trying to see if they're going to... Uh, try to push before we get uber or push off the one pick they had so we're moving through cafe because i could hear traps going up on the left from their demo so i opt to choose cafe here but sometimes it can be tough to get in um, if the soldier is lurking above so we try to always bait that out try to spot that um, we end up just getting that kill and they just sort of concede off that death they're gonna get uber but mid has traded hands and now it's even ubers so at this point um we usually call the slow it down because if we, if we don't really have any significant advantage or if the, the window is really tiny, like there when we got into mid, we had like a 10% advantage when they were backing out of choke. That's not really going to be worth going off of. Um, I didn't know this, but they actually uh, off-class checked. Uh, bot mode went spy to off-class check. And uh, Jay opted to go sniper here. So they probably already know because they did the off-class check. But um, when we slow it down like this, sometimes we'll just... Um, want to ensure that we can have some sort of advantage. So Jay's going to go sniper. 
It's going to attempt to get some picks here. Um, since we own mid, it's even, you know, everywhere else. We can afford to sort of slow the, slow the game down and try to get a favorable advantage. So he's going to be sniping up. And he's going to be looking here for a pick. Takes a few shots, but uh, Ascent is aware that he's on Sniper, of course. So um, they're going to be making it difficult for him to get a clean shot. So he's just going to be rotating around. As a sniper, you don't really want to sit in one spot. Because if they adjust to that sight line, they might expose themselves to another. Um, so rotating around a lot, trying to take uh, various different um, shots can be uh, a good idea to keep the enemy team on their toes and potentially get easier headshots. Um, yeah, he had some opportunities. You know, obviously they got to sometimes expose themselves to get the health and ammo. So sometimes you can have a fraction of a second to take a shot there, but unfortunately not going to connect yet. It's only been about a you know a minute here, so we're perfectly fine. Um, just taking our time here. So he's expecting them to bomb him here in Valley, and in fact, that is exactly what is going to happen. So as he moves up a bit forward to get a more aggressive peek in, I believe Ascent is going to go for an all-in bomb here into Valley. So here comes bomb mode and Laz. If we would have been slightly better set up for this, we could have gotten both these soldiers. But we weren't quite able to chase him down. Actually, Paddy went in at the exact same time. He found a good opening there to get through. And I could see that there was no trap over here. Okay, this happened a lot. This happened so many times. Where their scouts would just run into cafe. It was so strange. So high five is over here with like 5 HP. But I didn't, I didn't know he was that weak. So I didn't actually chase him. I probably should have just tried to kill him immediately. We had this opening to move to the left because I could see that it was not trapped. Patty was pulling at least two people into lobby. So we tried to get through on that opening. But now we found ourselves sort of surrounded. So this kind of sucks because we ended up popping first. Um, but we find two kills right as they pop. So now this actually has suddenly swung back in our favor. Eric is back here in chaos mode. Habib bombs just a little bit too far forward. He lands on the low ground. I try to bail him out and I end up dying. I should just let Habib die there and not try to save him. Habib really should not be bombing and landing on the low ground. If he stays up here, we, we hold that 100%. But he lands on the low ground. You don't want to bomb and as a demo and just be in their face because they're just going to kill you. So what was looking good for us, we just slightly misstepped, gave up our positioning and they punished us for it. But we had two kills, I think. So we're confident here that they're not going to be in position to properly lock us out of mid. Um, so we're actually trying to bust through on this. Even though their whole team is alive, we know based on their spawn timings that we've been tracking that all six of them won't be on mid, which if I go in slow-mo, you will see is the case. Um, their demo isn't here. Slemnish isn't here. Laz is only just arriving. So we knew that they weren't in position. So we get through. Even though technically more of them were alive. Bot mode was a bit overextended up here. So we focus fired him down. Laz gets caught out as well. So we get both soldiers. So that gives us a lot of confidence that we're not going to get bombed. Here again, this happens. Their scout tries to run into cafe. They were doing this a lot to try to like go for a sort of a desperation play. To buy time. He does get that one kill. Um, and then we're sort of in a similar position that we were before. Trying to fight them up here on this platform. Habib launches them into the skybox. But then it turns into a bit of chaos because that scout actually lived for a bit of a, a longer time than he should have. Both their soldiers managed to get back in time. And one of them's behind us now. So we just really got to stabilize here. I think they they really are good at playing the height disad for some reason. And like, okay, what, what the hell just happened, you know? It's like, what... <laughs> Like, we were perfectly stable, and then suddenly they just find two picks. I actually want to rewind that and see how that happened. Because I died first. I'm not sure how. I'm really curious what I did. So, this is us taking second. Bot mode gets behind. Laz gets out. We popped Uber. So, they're actually down a scout, and so are we. Both teams are down a scout, and they have a guy behind. So, they're probably thinking... All right, we have a guy behind. Potentially, we could do something off that. So I come in here to try to pick Laz. He's so fucking weak, and I think I know that. But then 
I get hit by that splash, and then the scout, like, runs at my back. So, do I even get this kill? Oh, he lives. He does not deserve. And then I get caught. So I'm caught in. I think I shoot the medic. Yeah, I meat shot the fuck out of their medic. And then I miss that shot. Ah, so close. So I get caught in. All right, sort of overextended. Chased a bit too hard. Then we let bot mode flank for free. This was the guy that was behind. He kills skis. So just out of, out of, yeah, nowhere that kind of happens. People probably should have been mindful of the guy behind, but ultimately that's my role. So I probably shouldn't have chased. I was hoping I could just peek one corner, kill Laz, and then get out, but I kind of got greedy to chase him a bit too much. But I didn't expect Slumish to flank me. That kind of threw me off. Habib committed into Shudder and killed their medic. So this is just pure chaos at this point. I'm just going to rewind one more time and watch from like Habib's POV. Um, because yeah, this, this is like a chaos moment. And in these moments, it's just who hits their shots and who like, um, you know, who makes the quick, you know, split second decision. So Bamo immediately goes for this flank, which I'm surprised no one is really aware of his positioning. So they are all inning. Habib just commits into shutter, gets that med pick. And so we lose, we lose four, they lose, uh, we're going to lose five. Actually, wait, Jay and Eric come in perfectly here. Eric on the beast cam, absolute savage. We actually cleaned them up. So I thought we were going to run there, but actually Jay and Eric managed to hit the shots that they need to. Good focus fire and good uh, playing off of each other's distractions and just hitting your shots. So Eric and Jay managed to get, secure that. We actually have a slight add here. If we hard build this, we might be able to push it, but most likely we're going to slow it down again because usually we, we weren't too confident to just try to go in off a small add just because we know how hard they like to build. But we'll see. Actually, it's looking like we might go for this. So I think I called a pop through on me because if someone's close, I want to be the first one through the door to just surprise them and put a meat shot into them. So the demo is a, such an important pick here. Um, because he's the, obviously the one trapping the point. So we get that demo pick. We force their med in spawn. So that means the point is open for a brief period. We get on the cap. That's the first round for us. We bait them to the cap and they were like 90%. They were unable to uh, get their Uber. But if we didn't um, cap that right then and there, we would have had to leave because they would have been coming in with their Uber. All right, so next mid. At this point, we're going to be expecting them to do that valley rollout because they did it the first round and it kind of worked. Like they got in clean. And in fact, yes, they are again doing the valley rollout. They have a couple people a bit overextended here. We get the first pick onto bot mode. We lose Patty. So an even mid so far, just got to keep track of everyone and, you know, go for our focus fire. Don't want to give their demo too much free rain here. The scout's kind of overextended on our shed. So just trying to kill him. This soldier's definitely overextended. He dies. The scout's in my face. So at this point, now we have the numbers. We just need to stabilize. They're, uh, they were down three, bot mode's a spawner. High five's caught in. I'm trusting Eric to kill him, but he actually kills Eric. So he actually nearly killed Skis as well. So there I was thinking, all right, Eric can kill that scout and I'll go for the chase. I'll go for the chase through um, choke, potentially catch their medic. But unfortunately, high five gets the 1v1 and high five almost gets our med. So that got a bit dangerous there, but we secure mid, we're stabilizing. Um, here again, Eric actually is going to spawn up on Sniper. So this is very similar to that previous situation where we owned mid, even Ubers. So we might as well just run a Sniper. And so Eric's going to go Sniper, see if he can get something to break this open. So they just spotted him. Now they know he's on Sniper. So it's going to be very difficult for him to get these peaks. This is a match you were dying. Yeah, Habib, you were you were not feeling too good. But uh, you still did what you needed to. And uh, you had your moments. Okay, so they actually run a counter sniper. So this is turning into a bit of a snipe off here. Eric's just trying to counter scope, bait out his shot, and then, you know, get that headshot. Slumnish versus Eric. They're both just, like, standing there, taking all the shots. <laughs> 
the glizzy overdose. Ooh, headshot onto, onto Campy. Patty went in for a bomb because he's like, all right, they have a sniper, maybe I can get in. Um, he actually gets caught. Bot mode had a shotgun, which surprised him, I remember. Eric's still looking for a snipe, but not really finding any shots. So now we're in a bit of danger because we are down one. We can't pressure them as much. If they wanted to peek more with their sniper, they would have some room to do it. But it looks like they're not really even going to counter sack off of the pick that they got. So now we're over here in cafe. Oh, catches the body shot. Unfortunately, not going to get that kill. Just patience at this point. It's a huge part of the match for us is patience. You know, we're okay with waiting. We're already up around. We own mid. We don't need to make any, you know, rushed decisions here. And that can be a very hard thing to learn, but I've, uh, over the years, had plenty of uh, flubs where we weren't patient, we rushed something, we lose, and we're kicking ourselves because we knew we should have slowed it down. So, Eric there actually does get out sniped. They're immediately counterbombing here. Laz into Valley. Patty's in a hiding spot, but he gets spotted. So, yeah, we, we did a good job of stuffing their push. They were trying to peek their snipers. Well, Laz is just going to commit now. He actually goes behind. So, I think that we saw him go behind. Um, so, we know he's behind. And then bot mode was peeking in cafe. Patty and Jay do a really good job of catching him out. So, now we're sort of thinking, okay, they're essentially down to... I think I'm chasing Laz, waiting to coordinate with Eric on his spawn. Now, suddenly, we have two soldier picks. Two soldier picks and they have a sniper means that they don't have very good, um, like aggressive classes if we get in and get aggressive we can overwhelm them so you can see jay jumps through he kind of lands on a sticky trap patty's jumping through as well putting the pressure onto them so they're actually standing their ground we were a bit slow honestly getting through we probably should have gotten in a bit faster nice bomb there from patty high five was engaged in that fight the bomb comes in uber's on me we're just going for the exchange their demo gets launched to the skybox so i'm thinking all right this is going to be good we'll just kill him when the uber is off him and they're currently in a bit of chaos mode. These two soldiers are both committed, even though they're down two. That headshot from Slemnish onto Habib is kind of a tide turner, though. Habib was in good positioning. He was up here, but I think Slemnish just found an opening through bats. Um, I don't know how we actually lost that. I felt like we had more numbers at one point, but yeah, the headshot turns the tide. Habib goes down, and the soldiers probably should have both died. Massive bomb from Jay into the choke there kills the sniper. I'm just challenging them out, trying to follow up on that distraction and that damage. We catch out bot mode. Now they're down two. We should be trying to push this in. We get through choke pretty clean. We see their soldier in front, so we're not going to be getting bombed. The scout, once again, he's going for cafe. I don't know if they were doing this intentionally or what, but they kept going for that cafe. Patty had a huge bomb into the shutter while this chaos was happening. And we're just on the cleanup right now. So right now we should be thinking this is basically a one round. Um, if we can get in before they all spawn. So we're our team's moving up. I'm on the cap. I think we're going to get in here before they spawn. I see them back left. We're just in. I'm baiting the cap. We have Uber. So at any point, if they bomb me on point, I get that flash. And then I chase them out and kill everyone who tried to get on me. Both soldiers down. Now we're just fighting here. Ooh. I am a dangerous man. Just their demo and yeah. Everyone doing their job. Good stuff. Good push. Very important that we uh, baited that cap and then got the kills. If we got nothing out of that, then their spawners would have gotten up and we actually would have um, probably lost that. So into the next mid. Bot mode's in cafe. So this time they, they actually roll out choke. Their mids weren't working, so they they adjust it back. And look, their med literally goes down to like 20 HP. That's that's what we were hoping for with that mid strat, and it finally sort of paid off. So while he's completely out of the fight, we're just trying to kill everyone who's caught in. Oh, he's actually kind of got destroyed there by Laz. But they had no heals. Like, their heals were completely out of that mid, so four people are caught in. We'll just kill them with our buffs and uh, take the mid. So here I was trying to chase. I thought they were still up on the platform, so I was trying to be sneaky here. Come up behind them, but they, they ran completely away. Uh, Campy was not looking to risk that. But here, we know that they're coming in with full heals, full buffs, and with uber ad. So I'm just trying to cap this, and I'm trying to get the fuck out of there. I'm not too concerned about committing to that. If they would have come in sooner, I would have even left and not, not finished the cap. 
So we're starting to threaten a bit of a back cap. They kind of get through Shutter here. Pretty clean. Would have liked for them to take a bit more damage. Patty commits for the force. Great job by him. The rest of us uh, kite it out. There's a guy in Valley. I really wanted to go help with that fight, but I was worried that if I commit there, they would cut off or shoot me in the back. So we end up just kiting it out. We have massive ad now, so we'll just leapfrog this. And um, yeah. I think we're confident that this is a big enough ad that we might go for a big bomb on this one. I don't know. Let's see. Actually, okay. We're moving towards Cafe. I think I knew that they trapped Valley. So we move towards Cafe here. Bobmo takes so much damage jumping forward. We end up getting that pick. And they're so far back. Oh, I call the trap and then Patty comes in. Uh... See, ideally, Patty's going to not die to that trap. And then we could already be pressuring into last. But now that we're down Patty, probably just going to slow it down again. But that's fine. Because we're slowly gaining ground. This was another theme of this match was that we would be fine with just taking one point, slowing it down. One point, slow it down. Because that can only last for so long, right? Eventually we're going to cap last. So we're okay with just stabilizing, going one point at a time. We don't need to rush it. Uh, we bust out another sniper here. So now Patty's on sniper. So we've had Jay snipe, we've had Eric snipe, now we have Patty on the sniper. And uh, at this point... Uh, people were joking that we were going to do a full team rotation of Sniper. And it actually ends up panning out. I end up going Sniper next. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm I'm the fourth Sniper on the team, apparently. Fifth Sniper's probably Skis. Habib is our sixth Sniper. Um, so, he dies. Then we got an attempt at a counter sack. The Sentry's going to deny. So, right now, the biggest obstacle for us is the Sentry Gun. So what we're going to do is try to find a way to destroy this sentry gun. That's going to be priority number one, because if people sack in and the sentry just denies them, they're probably not going to have very good chance of success. So we have both our soldiers trying to find an angle to spam this sentry. They both come over here to the left. Not quite able to get it from there. Nearly. They probably could have gotten it. Oh, it has single digits of health. I think a couple rockets just barely missed, but they, they started counter spamming to deny that. So now we're going to rotate the heels down towards dungeon. And you actually do have an angle to that sentry from dungeon. And uh, as long as your rockets are on point, that sentry is deleted instantly. He could do nothing about it. But Habib died to a trap. Or, sorry, to Zaylor's just sticky spam. So while we're spamming that, they're spamming something else. It's very important that, you know, if that kind of thing is happening, that you look for a weakness somewhere else. If everything is being concentrated in one spot. So they, they find that pick on Habib. Which is good by them, but they try to bust through with like super confidently because Habib is dead. Um, they end up getting like two people in. All right, this kind of annoyed me. I remember this. Um, we lose two people and we get forced. They haven't popped. So in our last you know moments of our Uber, I get a flash and I'm like, okay, what can I do with this flash? I could attempt to force them or. I know that two of them are dead, and I see the rest of the four. I could just run past them and try to run to last. So I dive into dungeon here and try to pull them back or just get the back cap. They end up committing to chase me. Two of them chase me, and what's left here is their demo and medic. I have really wanted our team to be able to capitalize on that distraction while you know their soldier and scout, the two best classes at defending the medic, were occupied. But unfortunately, we don't actually end up getting the force. I felt like... Patty had potentially the timing here because he's just sitting right here. If he would have bombed right when I went in dungeon, he could have gotten the force. I have confidence that he could have, but it just didn't play out that way, unfortunately. Now they have full ad. So we're going to have to pretty much just run away. Hopefully not lose anyone else. Bot mode kind of just overextended. So they, they do this a lot of times where they have an ad, but then they just sort of like feed us one extra pick. That makes us feel a lot more confident to hold or, or to exploit a flank or, you know, something like that. So here we spot their combo coming in through choke. We have some people trying to challenge Valley. Bot mode's dead. So they're confident to just go over there. Their entire Uber and entire team have to go back for Eric because he's a dangerous man. So that kind of just wasted their whole Uber right there. Look at me. I get in behind Laz. So he's completely caught in. Ah, I shouldn't die there. 
I called for people to help me to like pinch him, but I think more people went through choke than cafe for some reason. I don't know. Kind of weird. But I felt like that was going to be like a great opportunity to get a free pick. But then bot mode committed. I don't know why. Kind of didn't expect that. Here again though, we have two of them spawning. So we're confident to walk through choke. We know neither of their soldiers are alive. Um, we have a slight ad. I don't think we're going to be confident enough to just go on it immediately, are we? Oh, I'm just peeking. I don't think we're going to commit on this. It's no, no, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, we call that one off. They were literally at 99%. You could see Habib was like prepping to bomb. That would have been a disaster. So we end up uh, slowing it down. But again, bot mode gives us that pick that we need. So now look who's confident. Jay flies in with the market gardener. Goes for the medic. Wow. What a jump. He's just so fast. It's like literally like a death missile just flying at you. So he drops their medic there with the market gardener. Uh, but we're rolling immediately. We're not going to give him a chance to spawn their medic. We just immediately chase in. Nice pipe by Habib. And there's the first half. Three clean rounds. And now we're going to get into the second, second half. So, so far, the mids have been quite good for us. You know, the first two, they get forced into valley. And then we just clean up everybody. The third mid, the spam hits them hard, so their meds like 10 HP. So at this point, they're feeling pretty lost on the mids. They have no idea what to do. So they try something different. They end up going for a massive gamble here. They invest in the sniper mid. So they've got a sniper coming out to mid here. Bot mode switching classes. This is another thing about this team. I think that literally every time we played this team, Ascent, they had a different like team composition, whether they swapped bot mode to scout or to roamer or to pocket or high five soldier, you know, all these sorts of things. They were changing their roster every single time. Um, instead of, I feel like working on one roster and really trying to improve the chemistry and the fundamentals, they're always going for these like weird sort of desperation band-aid fixes. Literally every time we played them, it was something different. And this was just sort of the epitome of that. In the grand finals, they're roster swapping. It's it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of rough if, if you're playing like that. So they end up coming Valley once again. The sniper, though, kind of surprises us. But something surprises them this mid. Something that they've never seen before. Something that no one's ever seen before. They snipe out skis. So this mid is looking dire. This mid is looking rough. And this mid is looking like a disaster. Oh! But then that happens. <laughs> Two market gardens. Absolutely insane. High five. I told him that he was like 30 health. So he's very confident there. He nearly gets campy here. That rocket jump would have been insane too. And he almost barely got that rocket off. That would have been... By far the biggest play of the Grand Finals, if you got campy. I mean, it already might have been. We were already down our medic on the mid. We were basically retreating, and then he comes in and salvages the whole thing. So their sniper play was, like, looking good. They drop our medic, and then suddenly, spoon in your face. And we get mid once again. So. And now they're still committed to this sniper strat. Bot mode feeds, Laz, Cod, and Cafe. At this point, they're really just, they're playing super reckless. Um, they've got the sniper, so we probably should be pressuring this, peaking this. Habib did die, though. But I think we're willing to push without Habib, given the picks we have. Clear that trap, we get in. And yeah, they've pretty much given up all of the space here. Patty gets onto the sniper. He's going to die eventually. And just like weird chaos, but they're actually finding kills. It's so weird that they're like committing when half their team is already out. But yeah, they do get the force, which is good for them. But down three, it would be risky for them to Uber through. So we're not feeling too bad about it. They are moving as if they're going to Uber here, but I've spotted them. So we know exactly where they're at. And I think that we maybe go for a back cap here, actually. 
Oh, uh, Jay tried to go for a market garden. Getting a bit ambitious. Patty goes for the back cap. Does does someone else go for the back cap? No, not yet. I think we had two back caps this match. So yeah, we actually end up kind of giving this up for free. I was a bit annoyed by that, I think. I think I wanted them to at least pop on the way in, maybe trap it out, but we ended up just leaving completely. So this Uber comes through choke. They pop early, and we actually managed to get everyone out, and Jay gets behind. He caught their sniper in choke. He did like a high bomb off of this balcony. So now he's behind, get, going for this massive flank in cafe. We probably should add a little bit more pressure from the front there. Then we would have just sandwiched them up. They would have died. Another fight in cafe. Yeah, they did that so much with the scouts in cafe. So we just clean that up real quick. Now we got three fresh picks. So we should probably be chasing this into last. Don't want to die to those pipes. And he's still in sniper. See, this is one of the problems. Right now, Sniper is obviously... Okay, I think he snipes me. But... He's not supposed to snipe me. He should never snipe me here. But they lose three. And they have no scouts. Both their scouts are dead. And Slemnish is stuck. Does he go soldier? I mean, maybe. But even that's going to be a bit awkward. Is he on Sniper when they're down three? Maybe. This shouldn't happen. But if I don't die there, we win the round. Like, literally, we just run, we just roll in. I was hoping I would just aim punch him, just like chip shot him and he would miss, but it didn't work out. I think we should have chased there, but yeah, once I die, just call it off, no point. But it, it did kind of fuck them, as you can see, that, that whole like being stuck on sniper thing. So actually, Patty went spy here because he knew that they had ad pushing out. And I guess he knew that I was dead, so it would probably bait them into a push. <laughs> Patty with the taunt, <laughs> laughing his ass off. So now it's up 4-0 for us. And uh, yeah, we're feeling real confident. They're still doing the sniper strat. Now that they've shown the strat, we're going to be a little bit more aware of it. So we're going to adapt. So it hopefully will not catch us out too, too badly on this next mid. Massive bomb, actually. Jay, Jay does an insane market garden rollout. And he just instantly kills their demo. Habib's kind of in that sniper sight line. It's a bit dangerous. Oh, Patty gets sniped. Okay, Eric gets sniped. But Pipe's on the sniper. I know that sniper needs to fucking die, so I just go and get him. And now we have the numbers. So. Some picks going out. We got that Market Gardener. We got the headshots. It really just comes down to who does some, some crazy shit, I guess. But we can just stabilize again. I think we won literally every single middle. Jay's going in. Trying for the market garden. Hits the medic once. Meanwhile, high five dies a choke. They See, at this point, they're like... They're down four rounds. I think they're just thinking either we lost already, so fuck it. Or they're thinking we have to do something crazy to come back. Because... Even Ubers, they're they're still going it for plays. They're still peeking. Like they're committing people cafe. They're peeking choke. Patty gets the force there. Eric dies as well. Oh, he runs behind. Wow, Eric slippery. Just barely living behind. Pulling them so far back. So great play by Eric. If Eric would have died immediately at choke, Ascent would have gone all in into mid. So we actually tried to catch them out here, but man, this was this was such a good idea, but it didn't work out. So what we're trying to do here is, I'm like, okay, we're down three. Um, so they're probably going to be very confident going into middle. But they were at the fucking back of the map still. So what we were trying to do was hide around a corner, try to catch them. So Habib dies here. Eric, uh, you know, goes in. He goes on a bit of an adventure. Two HP. Oh my god. So he's living for as long as he can. Pulls three of them back, and then, so what I'm thinking is, okay, they're going to be really close at choke, but then they're backing up. I thought they would already be, like, in choke. Unfortunate. Because I wanted to catch them there with the super. So now they're on a back cap. This is really weird. Their combo's in front, but half their team's back. We decide to just go back and kill the rest of their team that's on middle. Which we should be able to do with relative ease. 
Oh, we lose Eric for it. Unfortunate. So now it's just their demo in med. I think this time they actually try to stand their ground. So we're, we're down three. And uh, Jay has their exit sort of locked out. So I'm just going to commit here and take care of them real quick. Oh. Oh. I want to see their health. I'm actually really curious what their health is on this one. So I kill the medic in demo. Unfortunately, I leave skis in order to do that. Bot mode comes in from the side. All right, I swear they're so fucking weak. Laz has 50 health. Ah, oh, that body shot fucked me. If he missed that body shot, I would I would have killed both of them here. I'm actually shocked that Laz came back with 50 health. They're both 50 HP, and he comes back into the fight. I'm really surprised he did that instead of just running away. So, I end up dying. I got a bit greedy, admittedly, but I swear I could have fucking killed them. It's just, if they missed one more shot, I would have gotten them both. But, got their med, got their demo, so, it's worth it. We're still, you know, gonna be in control of the round. We got this, uh, sniper moving up through valley. We probably got caught out by this peak. We probably did not expect it at this timing. Maybe we spotted it. Yeah, Patty's gonna die. We probably should have been spotting that a bit better. But, like, this is just fucking chaos. Like, why are they trying to dry push in the middle? They lose three. On the other side of the map. Jay finds this opening on the sniper. And then it's just their medic and demo getting out once again. And they're- oh, they're on crits. Huh. Do we know they're on crits? Do we even find out? <laughs> Habib kills Campy. They pop the crits on the heavy. And we pop as well. Oh, man. But we have enough kills that we're confident to push. They have a heavy and sniper. Like They're down three and they have a fucking heavy and sniper. <laughs> it, it actually bothered me so much. So we just run and cap the point. Like, they can't fight us because they just they're running a perma sniper. Even when they're down three. I don't know, man. So that's that's the first map. That's five rounds. Pretty clean. We won every middle. There was some chaos there at the end. Some big plays with the Market Gardener and you know, some meat shots. But uh, overall a good first map. It was our map pick, so we were really happy about that. We even had that back cap, which made us laugh. Um but yeah. So now we're going to load up map two, which is going to be Meadleworks, apparently. Map two. So this map, it's a bit of a different story. As I mentioned, we won pretty much every mid on Sunshine. Metalworks, we lose pretty much every mid. So we're, we're going to be fighting this game more, you know, from the, from the back foot. You know, we're trying to claw our way back in. But these mids are actually going to end up being really weird because we have like good positioning and then suddenly it all just falls apart. Habib trying to lock them out of lower. Really good damage onto Laz. He's already basically out of the fight. Look at this. They have five people in their yard. So they've basically already le left mid. Which is making me think we could just get height. You know? We could just hold this. So we have a scout on the point. We've got pretty good positioning on mid I would think. So what goes wrong? They sort of inch their way in. Habib gets pressured off the height. Laz dies. Patty dies in their choke. Habib catches two pipes. Slemnish lives with single digits. Oh. Eric catches a pipe. So I think Campy won them this mid. Pretty much. I'm just caught in. So I'm going to die. Unfortunate. That sticky at my exit kind of fucked it. I was going to run, but then he stickied that. So yeah, not going to happen. So... Catching those pipes, not going to be a, a good sign if you're trying to win a mid. But at least our medic escaped, so we're going to have full uber for holding last. Our spawns are too late to contest. Sometimes, you know, if we spawn soon enough, we'll be here trying to peek this and slow this down. Or if we, you know, got any relevant picks um, where they didn't have enough numbers to just lock us out. But in this situation, it's better to just slow it down. So here's my time to go sniper. Hit that headshot. I told you, we did that sniper roulette. So I end up getting one headshot. I peek for a little bit more. 
I think I had an opportunity to hit another shot here. I don't remember. I think someone peeks me. But they can see me through this glass, so they're not really giving me too many shots. At this point, I'm like, yeah, this is not worth, because I'm just going to fucking die. So I just... I take my my one headshot, and I back up. Patty ends up dying, so it's a good thing I'm out of there. Um, but we should expect them to try to do something off that pick. Actually, they spawn up their own sniper. So I quickly get on NG. I prefer to be on NG when we're defending last as sort of my default because a sentry won't miss and it will help to deny their bombers. So they're peeking, keeping the shutter wide open. It's really risky to peek the sniper, but at the same time, we kind of have to pressure him. So um, one risk of this position is definitely this left side. Oh, Patty's on the counter snipe. Um, so that's why I move my sentry lower, because then the sentry can hit them, hit the sniper as he's peeking this, without anyone needing to peek. The sentry can be the first point of contact. However, I should probably move it underneath the bridge fully, if I want to cover that. Problem there, then, is if they bomb, my sentry won't cover it. But the problem with this spot is if they spam from here with their demo, they can destroy it. So there's a trade-off to the sentry positions. You know, you can't cover everything perfectly with the sentry. So as you can see, they're just going to pipe it down. So immediately try to build that sentry back up. Habib gets sniped. So now they're starting to sort of converge on us. They're taking that space at main. Jay is ready for an uber exchange um, in case we have to. See now, here he is wide peeking over here. I think we got the call on it though. So we were able to pressure him a bit. We end up popping. They end up popping as well, so thankfully there's an exchange. I'm kind of caught here on NG, but fuck it. I'll build a sentry in the middle of this Uber. Jay ends up finding a massive bomb. Catches out two people. Eric also finds his flank on a high five. Just medic and demo on the retreat. Uh, this trap kills Habib. Yeah. I don't think we knew that was trapped. I think we assumed that they, like, backed out. Usually it's more conventional to trap this. Especially in that situation where they're down so many. But now that we lost Habib, we're expecting them to be really aggressive. Because we can't, like, lock out the chokes nearly as well. But we end up challenging their demo in the choke. We get that kill. Ski's surviving. We get three picks. Four picks, once again. And their demo's dead this time. So no traps. So Habib's death sort of baited them into a push. And, um... It ends up working out because we hit the shots, Skis hits the surf, and we actually denied their spawns. I don't think we realized, did we? Maybe we did realize it. Yeah, we just plow through. We know. Oh, we know, all right. So we quickly move on through. They are struggling to force Skis. His movement was on point in this match. I'm trying to catch out this pick. He's going to go down. Their med goes down. So they're just dropping like flies. Fat rocket out of Jay. He's going to kill both scouts. So now it's just their demo. So we're just keeping it moving in on last. So, yeah, that, that kind of fell apart when they went for the exchange. But we're unable to get the force out quick enough. You got to be able to recognize that. If the exchange isn't looking good, you got to be able to retreat. But they end up sort of getting caught. We had that good counter uber. All right, next mid. Let's see what happens. Habib this time in the upper choke. They're all over their crate and, you know, at their backside here. Patty goes in for a bomb. I think he said that he wanted to land behind them on this mid, but ends up getting a bit scuffed. So we end up losing both their soldiers for pretty much nothing. So this mid's basically over. Eric finds a pick on bot mode. He pulls them back a bit. At least they're killing Eric instead of chasing us, so he bought us some time. Sometimes that's what the scout, um, the flank scout's job is, is to just buy time for your team so that, you know, they can get out and you sacrifice yourself. So Habib's over here trying to spam a bit into Ali. Um, they end up trapping out Habib's exit, and I think Habib actually gets stuck. I think we were a bit hesitant here. Should have been a bit more decisive to um, commit on them on the point, because we did have Uber. Um, or to quickly rotate out, but we kind of stood there did a bit of a half and half um, So we end up losing Habib and without Habib we kind of decide all right. Well We're gonna just give up this point So so yeah We go back to last 
sometimes it's better to uh, be on last. Wow. So they go for a three-man sack. This four-man sack? Sometimes I don't know if what they're doing is intentional. Like, I don't know if they're calling to go for a four-man or if it's just like their roles are so confused that they don't know whose job it is to sack. That they're just all doing it. I honestly have no idea. So this was very ambitious for him to commit there. Just busting through main. They quickly shift over to alley. They don't have any add on us, so we should stand our ground here. Habib's got stickies on their exit, so this scout's kind of stuck in. He's going to go down. Soldier comes in. And he is healthy. Their other soldier bombs in. He's going to go down. Yeah. So we just do a really good job of focus firing and standing our ground. So here I really wanted to catch them as they're leaving um, up through the right side. So we chase quickly up through house. But I noticed that someone's missing, I think. Yeah. Someone is missing. They start the back cap. You always got to be keeping track of everyone on their team. We don't want to risk this whole round on a 1v1. As you can see, uh, Slumnish and Eric were going at it. Eric nearly dies. So we just go back real quick to get that kill. Habib sort of lingered in the choke. He ends up killing their other scout. There I saw bot mode go behind. And I was calling for people to go back. But then Habib counter called me and said, oh no, he's not behind. So he actually ends up getting the back cap, which is a bit annoying. Um, so as you can see, Jay was like going to jump back. And he's like, oh, Habib says he's not there. But then he is. So he ends up getting the back cap. It's okay. We could just recap. In fact, um, what we try to do is while we're recapping, we know they're going to get some spawns on mid. So we're actually lingering up here in this choke, hoping to catch them like walking a little bit too far forward. But they end up being far back. They didn't really fall for our, our like sneaky around the corner bait ubers. Skis! Ah, he does get forced, but he milked it a good while. They lose both soldiers for that. It actually is pretty good for us for them to lose both soldiers, especially on this point, because Ali is basically soldier heaven for skybox bombs. So whenever both their soldiers are dead, we feel really confident to push through Ali because we know we aren't going to get skybox bombed. So even though they got the force, we, we still are feeling confident to just plow forward. Um, but their uber is very close. I'm calling that their combo's over here. This guy busts through. Their combo gets through. Eric's gonna get caught, unfortunate. Hopefully I don't get caught. Alright, I'm out. So they do have an ad here. So we gotta be careful that if they pop this quickly that we jump out. Habib did a nice job. Sticky jumping out there. Skis unfortunately gets caught. Kind of crazy that they chase that uber all the way up into this choke, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, that'll happen. I guess he just got launched up a bit too much. So, kind of a disaster for us. We knew that was going to come in, but... We still got caught by it. So, now we're going to be at 50% uber disad. They're already moving across. Eric's down here sniping lower. Trying to get that shot. Med gets across. Unfortunately, not going to get that shot. Nice pick from Habib. That trap on the scout. Let's see. We actually don't respect. We're getting in here, but Laz has a massive bomb. I kind of lost track of the soldiers. I didn't realize they were both, like, down here. Um, we end up killing them both, ultimately. And we actually have numbers right now, so this is somewhat risky for them to be this far forward. But at this point, we're going to probably start respecting the Uber. But we did a good job slowing them down. Those three picks are going to buy us enough time to hold last. If we hadn't gotten those picks, um, they probably would have already been into last. But as you can see, they have to wait here to get their soldiers healed. Actually, they're not going to wait. They're going to... Both their soldiers aren't even going to be in this fight. So as long as we can prevent them from capping, they don't really have soldier presence at all. You know, Laz comes in late. Nice pop out of skis. And yeah. So if they would have actually slown that down just a bit, it might have actually been better for them. As, as you recall, I was saying slow it down, slow it down, slow it down a lot in the previous map. And they were kind of rushing things. So it ends up backfiring on them. So just a slight ad for them at this point. We always make sure we spot the cross. So in case they decide to go there with their ad, we'll know it. Otherwise, we anticipate that they're going to bomb out of main. So let's see what happens. 
so they end up crossing a couple people over here, but yes, the Uber is coming in through main. And we are very much equipped for that, though we end up losing two soldiers for it, I think. Actually, Patty goes behind, so this is crucial. Patty barely survives, gets behind here, doesn't catch that splash. So now Patty's behind, and we almost have Uber set up for a leapfrog. So what that means is Patty can now hit their exit while we're pushing the front. So this is actually a, a really good situation. Um, whereas Patty could have just got caught in and died. He thinks quickly on his feet, jumps behind, and now he's in position for the sandwich play. So we're going to be bringing that Uber in from the front. We're going to call for Patty where they're exiting. And here he is up in the choke, ready to hit them with the rocket in the back. And because of that, he launches the med up, so I'm able to get the kill. We get the medic, and it works out well. I guess we lose a few people for it. We lose a lot of people for it. We get the medic, which is the most important pick there, ultimately. I get out barely. Oh, he barely gets out too. But with that kill, they don't really have anything to work off of to push into last, at least. So, you know, at least that's a, a salvage, I suppose. Those are the kinds of things you got to be setting up with your, you know, your players that are behind. As a main caller, that's kind of your role, is to just synthesize all of the information and the positioning and the timings and make sure people are in position for the flanks and all that good stuff. So, at this point, both meds died. We're going to be basically even. We stabilize on last. So, we've been on last both rounds so far. And we're going to try and fight our way out of this. They're on crits? Wow. Okay. So they gamble the crits since they spawned slightly earlier. So they're actually going to have a bit of an ad here. They pop the crits. I have the sentry under the bridge. Damn, they actually get two kills off that. But no one wants to get on the point because we have Uber now. Hmm. Interesting. Laz comes in. Look at skis. Look at this man. Look at that milk. Good job by Patty having the flank covered, because if Slemnish wasn't denied coming in, he would have maybe even dropped Skis there. Uh, but it was a good surf and a good hold, a good milk. Skis was all about those milks and those surfs. Um, it was good. Okay, this is amazing. I love this. So we literally just held last, but look where we're going. We're going to fucking mid before we've even capped second. This timing should hopefully catch them out. So I'm calling. We want to go urgent. Fast, fast, fast. Because we know the ad isn't massive. So we don't want to sit around capping. We want to take advantage of this and try and catch them off guard. So we're moving through underpass here. We still haven't even capped second yet. But they had a spy. It's kind of weird. But we end up catching Slemnish. We know they're on crits still. This spy is so weird. Why do you have a spy? Why do you why do you have a spy? I don't know. But we know they're on crits. So we're trying to carefully track where their combo is. And um, just make sure we're not in the direct um, sight line of their crits. So we basically funnel them though into yard because we have people spotting house. They have to go yard. And I believe this is where... Um, I believe this might be where Jay goes for a high bomb into... Or no, he just goes for this flank through back door. So we just know that their med is going to be pretty vulnerable. Because of the crits. You know, he can't pop Uber and be invincible. And this is, you know, prime territory for some high bombs. Their spy ends up killing our medic. Kind of weird that they even have a fucking spy. But uh, we knew, you know, if they're on crits and they go yard, we can bomb them. We have that focus fire, that timing. It's going to work well. So, we lose skis. Their med dies as well. They lose their demo, though. Their demo's at late death. So, potentially, we might try to peek off that. But most likely, we're just going to slow it down. Slow it down. That was the name of the game. So, yeah, we're slowing it down. Eric now on the spy. Oh, he's just checking for the off glasses. I guess since they ran that spy the last time, we are kind of... A bit uh, paranoid, perhaps. He's checking the crits as well. Yeah, they, they ran a spy. They ran crits. They, they're busting out some oddball shit. But we just end up uh, stabilizing, building it out. I think we're going to try and set up a play with Eric and Patty here. Oh, 
So. Moving over towards Alley. So what we're trying to do is distract maybe from multiple directions so Patty can maybe get in. I'm curious what he does here. I think they go for like an underpass. They're trying to catch people under the bridge instead of like going for the med. Like look how far back this med is. So Patty jumps in and he lands down here. He's trying to catch somebody here. Almost catches that soldier. But he lives, you know. Jumps in, jumps out, try again. So I think they're going to go for that exact same play. Try and catch someone on the ground here. It's definitely not what people expect. When they see a soldier high bombing right here, usually what they do is they back up in this shutter. But if you, you know, and then some people sometimes are going to get isolated down here. So here it is. Eric's distracting lower. Here comes Patty. Bombs in. Unfortunately, not going to be able to connect anything there. Eric dies as well. Oh, well. We're down two. So now things are going to get in motion. Sometimes you want that. You want the game to be in motion. You don't care if you go down two. You just want things to start moving. Because then you can bait them into making mistakes. So they have a lot of presence up in yard already. Soldier bombs in. He gets denied. Skis. He's been hitting all his serfs. Other soldier commits as well. He's going to die too. So this is this is sort of what I mean by like it's really weird what they were doing with their roles. Because sometimes both their soldiers would simultaneously sack when it looked like only one of them should have. I don't know. So, once again, no soldiers means we're confident coming in through alley. Big Bomb from Patty just pulls them back. Eric comes in on this flank. Finds that opening. They actually pop really early. I guess High Five wanted to go for the exchange right into our face. But, oh, he gets launched to the moon. So, he's caught over on the alley. We're just going to focus him down real quick. Both their soldiers dive bomb into this location. But Patty hits some fat rockets. I don't know, man. That's such a weird spot to bomb, but I guess they want to help their team. So I'm trying to catch them out again. I'm trying to think, like, if if they linger here to try to contest, maybe I can hit him in the side. But they tend to play a lot more safe with their medic and demo. They backed out really early. But, yeah, I guess it's the right choice because otherwise I would have been uh, flanking them. And you saw what happened the last time I flanked the medic and demo. One of them died by my sword and one of them died by my meat. So... It's just going to even out, but we've gained ground, and that's good enough for us. We have gained ground. One more point in our possession. And so we're going to try and crack open this last. Here, things tend to slow down a bit. Because this last can be difficult to break, especially with that sentry gun. So... It's probably going to be a little bit of time before we actually make something happen here. So, Eric and Patty setting up their their attack here. Communicating uh, which doors they want to go through. What spam they need. What distractions they need, etc. Looking like it's just going to be through that main lobby there. Eric actually gets juggled in the choke. Laz was holding the door closed, so he goes down. Bot mode dies, counter sack. Habib had a trap over here on closet. Quick reaction times there to dead that. One for one. It's looking like it's probably just going to stabilize. So. If someone dies, like, right before we do the sack, sometimes we just slow it down. Because we'd rather have it be more coordinated rather than have someone go in and then they stagger um, the next guy going in after the first guy already died. Unless we're in like full chaos mode and we got some trades here and there. Um, which happens and sometimes it's the best thing to do. But if it's a very stable situation and we've already lost one, sometimes we'll just slow it down unless they've gotten in uh, clean. We got the dispenser pick, true. The dispenser sometimes actually is a valuable pick because the medic will often stand in it. So if you can get that out of the way, it eliminates the medic's armor. And it means your spam is going to be a bit better. Nice headshot. Okay, Eric actually went sniper. Trying to get a pick off that. Jay lives here with 1 HP. So then we get another bit of a sniper duel, I think. Slemnish versus Eric. We saw this a bit on Sunshine. It has been uh, revived here on Metalworks. I probably would have liked for us to try something a bit more aggressive once bot mode died. 
because we ultimately did nothing off of it. I think we could have done a bit more. <coughs> so I think what ends up happening is we end up getting two picks like simultaneously. I think Eric snipes someone and Laz gets juggled in a choke. So they instantly go down too. They did not expect that to happen. They've got their NG sort of like patrolling this doorway and we're making them spin in every direction. You see this? This is really good. So Patty's spamming from over here. Someone should have gone though. Someone really should have committed. We needed to get the force there. Jay goes in. Oh, nice bomb from Patty. Almost killed Botmug. Damn. Yeah, I think I think we, we let that one kind of slip away. Patty goes in, kind of staggered. I think maybe they ate too much spam. They weren't healthy enough to go together. Sometimes I think even if you have the timing, it's worth it to just go, even if you don't have the health. Ooh, nice trap from Habib. So now we have the demo pick, and they've swapped off their sniper. So us losing two actually got them moving, as I was mentioning earlier. So it was actually better for us that we lost two, because now they don't have a sentry set up. So Campy is currently dead. Here comes Jay. Hits one rocket. Here comes Patty. They popped at like 70 health, so. And he actually killed Slumnish. That's a huge pick. If he didn't kill Slumnish, this would be rough. Bot mode gets denied harder than any other soldier has ever been denied. They're trying to edge this cap. I think Eric's running back to spawn to swap. Because uh, he, he realizes we're about to go into full throttle mode. So he's going to swap off Sniper. Actually, he goes heavy. Not quite full throttle, but, you know, uh, better than Sniper, probably, for offense, nonetheless. We have enough time to wait for the uh, the heavy to get in here, though. So we just pop right through. We're trying to get this first pick, if we can. And Habib actually catches him in the spawn and their demo in the spawn. We bring our heavy in late. So I'm just baiting the point since we killed the demo and it's clean. Another round from our last to their last. Just based off some, you know, careful and coordinated pushes. All right, next mid. Let's see how we lose this mid. Deep comes through lower, hits their demo once. Dodging most of the spam. Taking up that top right. So we have such good positioning, but yeah, we lose both our soldiers into their yard. I feel like if they're just going to be out of the mid, your soldiers really shouldn't commit back here. They should just bomb and like curve away or just, yeah, just force them to like sit here and start the sky. So Skis actually is on the run. We all died except Skis. He's barely going to escape out through here nice juke right there dodges all the spam he survives so skis's survival after the mids has been top tier keeping us in this round um so they lose uh bot mode there and they don't have mid capped so in this case we're confident to push out of last because we know that um you know we, we have even uber they're down players and they have to cap mid so if they would have stayed on our second and they had someone capping, we would have still done it because we would have had numbers then. A two-man number advantage, essentially. And someone easily could have found an opening to try to get a force, or get some picks. So, they ran away. Probably the right choice. So, we can see them crossing over to Alley. We're anticipating just, like, a high bomb to come in. Eric's maybe checking for a spy or something. I think we haven't seen bot mode, but now he ends up dying, so we know he's he's there. Bot mode and skis go down, or sorry, uh, and slemnish. Now Laz gets caught, so Jay goes in, Market Gardens. That guy, I catch high five. Hopefully I can get the force here, I pistol the fuck out of their medic. Uh, unfortunately, I split up from skis, so he was unable to uh, milk the uber, but... We get in, um, I call for Habib to trap the spawn just in case they catch that spawn wave while we're chasing to right lobby, but yeah. So what you can see again, the trend, the other trend was whenever they're trying to like one man or two man sack, they end up three manning and we always capitalize off it. 
And we'd get that extra pick that they wouldn't expect. So, four minutes on the clock. So, we're actually going for a pre-Uber timing sack. We go down to... Oh, let's see. They're already flooding forward. Habib's got some nice traps. Oh, they cleaned one of them up. I get one pick. Okay. So here, we know that their combo's on the left, and they've already committed a soldier. I'm still full health after I kill a soldier, so I'm actually feeling pretty confident to fight right lobby. We end up catching out a few people here. Me and Jay just collapse on these people right lobby and end up getting four picks all out of nowhere. And then it's just straight on to the point and they don't even make it. So that's half one. Another recovery. We were on our last for a moment and then back to their last. So the first three rounds, we, we lost mids. We were on our last, but we never gave up. Into the second half now. Feeling very confident. Though we definitely need to fix these mids. These mids are rough. But I don't think we ever do fix them, unfortunately. So. Getting up on that height. Spotting both soldiers. Our team's taking top right. They're basically already, like, out of mid, but Jay jumps into their face. I really think it's not even worth it to bomb them. I think that's really what we did wrong. Okay, there's no way they repush into mid here, right? Okay, we cap mid, but then they just walk in, man. I don't understand. I really don't understand. They walk in, and they just bomb. Uh, how? How does that happen? I don't know, man. It was looking good, but then, yeah. We just we just let them walk in, man. Our spam wasn't good enough. I don't know why. Maybe Patty just wasn't set up for it. But we actually lose skis on that one. So, the first round where skis dies on mid. And Patty, unfortunately... There is a bit of a glitch on this map where the resupply region doesn't reach this corner. So Patty has a setting on where he dies when he class switches, which is not a good setting to have on, by the way. But uh, regardless, yeah, he ends up dying, so we were actually down Patty during this hold. And so we lose. So. I think we would have been able to hold that if Patty lived. I think, you know, you know, yeah. We'll never know what would have happened, but regardless, we, we lost the mid, so. And that time skis died, so it was a lot harder to hold. So that was their first round, and I told them, oh, nice job. Just, uh, you just need to get 15 more rounds to win. And so they got their first round. Now they just need 14 more. But this mid looking a bit more solid. Hopefully. We got an early pick and didn't lose both our soldiers for it. They're all so fucking weak. But we're down numbers. We go down three. But if I get this kill in bot mode. Alright. Yeah, he's a bit isolated. I know he can't get healed very well up there. Oh! I cannot believe I died to that. I was trying to land up on this. But he pulls out the fucking stick and he gets me. But luckily, Eric Beast comes in with the cleanup, kills them all. Nice job. <laughs> so we finally win a mid, like, and can secure it. We don't lose it immediately after. And we have full ad. Eric's already in. So we're going to be ready for a last push with full ad. That's good good news for us. Just making sure everyone gets healed up. We can afford to do this. We're not in a rush because we know we have a big enough ad. So I, I called the use through here. 
We pop in, kill the sentry gun. We see a lot of them on right. Start baiting the cap. Lots of cap time. Jay finds a massive bomb, gets their medic, and now it's just slimish. Everyone got their kills. Their med died with 96% apparently. So good job by Jay finding that pick. I think what he did was he jumped up here, actually, and then he jumped up here and hit the med right here in the garage. So they, they couldn't even see him because they could, he was hugging that wall so closely. All right, four to one. One more round for us to win the grand finals. Oh, Jay goes fucking deep into their choke. I guess he just really wanted to go deep. I don't know. Even though he died instantly like every time, he really wanted to. We see all five of them in yard. Laz with a bit of an ambitious bomb. Going to take a lot of damage for that one. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm rotating out through house. We lose two picks. And then immediately, we respond back with our own. Habib doing a great job there. I inform them that they're in my jug now because that was a, a nice uh, comeback mid there. And uh, now we, we start the uber build. Jay gets a trade using deep. So they actually have a sniper here. I don't know if we're going to go for this. I might, we might peek it. They pretty much concede, I think. Oh, no, headshot. We're definitely going to slow it down. <laughs> Alright. So, they are actually... They're trying to push this. Like, this... This would only happen if they're in desperation territory. They're, um... Yeah, they're down so many rounds. They start peeking. Chaos ensues. Like, Slumnish commits all the way to Alley. I think I catch him out. Yeah. Because I was up on this ledge, so he didn't quite see me. I was able to get up on him. I didn't see that trap. Unfortunately, Habib dies. And then they sink High Bomb, Alley, and kill Skis. But Jay kills their med. Like, this is the chaos. But that, that exact high bomb is sort of why we would avoid metalwork sometimes. Is because, especially against these soldiers that love to bust that one out. Sometimes it's better to just be able to avoid that entirely. I'm really curious how Jay killed their medic. I don't know, maybe he high bombed first. I have no idea. Oh well. No rewinding. I'm just going to end this because I got scrim soon. But there it is, another point for us. One more cap and we win the grand finals. The chaos factor is what makes it interesting. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of chaos, more so towards the ends of each match. Um, you know, Jay, of course, an X factor at all times. Oh, and Eric busts out the spy. So Eric has tapped into the, the current rhythm where they're just pushing. They're going for this desperation. He knows that they have to push out, otherwise they lose. So, he goes spy so he can back cap. He slips past them, gets up over here. He says he's gonna go for the back cap. So I believe we still go for a sack here to bait them to push out. So we still do a two man sack. Little do they know, we have a third man on the inside. So they end up bombing, and I think they focus the sentry on the bomb. It's really funny. We got the sentry pick. Very crucial. They're all pushing out. Sometimes Laz would hang back. Some soldiers have a tendency to sit back. But I'm sitting right here, and I'm spotting them. And I can see their entire team. Because I know bomb mode's over there, and I see Laz. So I tell Eric, all six of them are pushing out. He decloaks on the point. And they don't even make it back in time. And there it is. That's that's the round. That's the GG grand final winning moment. We had a spy back cap on both maps. Massive brains on display. And yeah, good plays all around. I think everyone stepped up. We had, um, you know, Patty and Jay flying all over the place, getting 
med picks, forces. We had, um, you know, obviously uh, Eric with uh, his back caps and beast plays, skis with his surfs and milks. Uh, me, you know, holding down the fort, taking the Ubers, hitting some meat here and there. Habib uh, was struggling that game, but still still on point with the, the spam and the traps. And yeah, everyone did their job, stepped up, and that's another trophy in the case. So, GG's.